Hey guys, it's Tanaya. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about how to deal with a difficult lash client. Okay. And that topic, just even saying that just gives me like the, ugh, you know, cause that's how it feels when you get like a difficult client. You just feel like, oh my gosh, like why did somebody come and just ruin my whole vibe and everything like that? But let's get into how to deal with a difficult client. So first off, there's a lot of different things that may qualify somebody as a difficult client right so a difficult client can be somebody who's always like habitually late to their appointments that could be a difficult client for you or a difficult client could be somebody who always will hit you up and say oh my god all my lashes came out and, da, 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 and give you a bunch of like issues and stuff regarding retention and maybe they don't follow aftercare a difficult client could be somebody that tried to run off and not pay you so it all depends on what you determine as a difficult client and as you start to get more clients and more business you'll kind of like figure out what is a difficult client to you so i definitely wanted to point that out like a difficult client to me can mean something completely different for you so i'm gonna tell you how to deal with a difficult client because overall you can use a lot of the same a lot of the same tips to kind of deal with different situations that cause conflict in your business so the biggest thing that you always have to do no matter what is you have to say professional you cannot treat your clients as your friends meaning you can't talk to them like they're your friends when there is conflict or disagreement or or anything like that or let's say they violated one of your policies they were a no call no show or um let's say they tried to leave your salon without paying and said oh i'm gonna go to my car and i'm gonna pay you whatever whatever or less no matter what the situation is you have to stay professional whether you're texting them going through this conflict or in your shop and you're going through this conflict or you're on the phone you have to use professional words and you have to and this is kind of like what i learned when i was working corporate you have to change your personality you got to do a little switch so there's going to be a way that you talk and you act outside of work and then there's going to be a way that you talk and act when you're at work just because like you may not view like doing lashes as like a corporate kind of thing where there's a human resources department and all other stuff you still have to know how to turn your professionalism on and then turn it off so no matter what somebody's coming at you with whether they're always late to your appointments and you're trying to talk to them about that or they're having issues paying you your price or they're having um, retention issues and they're being very disrespectful to you whatever it is you have to make sure that you're always talking to them professionally all right so that you cannot compromise because clients can save text messages okay or they can sit there and remember a conversation or how you spoke to them a certain way and they can bash you all over you know and it ruins your reputation all that hard work of months and years that you've experienced building up your clientele and building your work can just go down the drain just because you just got ratchet and crazy with a client <laughs> And that brings you to the next point of dealing with a difficult client. Make sure you have policies and procedures in place. So some people have like a late policy. If they're more than 15 minutes late, I've seen some people have policies saying if you're 15 minutes late or more, your appointment is canceled or um, you may have to pay an additional fee or something like that just to like train your clients to like be on time for their appointments. You may want to have um, you may want to have a policy geared towards no call, no show, um, and things like that. So, and you also, some people have a policy and I just kind of incorporated this too, is like, kind of like, I would call it an aftercare policy. So let's say you do a set of lashes. You can say, okay, with, you can contact me if you have any issues with lash shedding or any issues with your lashes within two to three days from your appointment date. And then you'll let them come back in for just a complimentary touch up if needed. You know, so let's say if you did somebody's lashes and they started shedding a lot the next day, and let's say they got them all wet, no matter what they did, as long as they reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours, you will let them come back in and you touch them up. But after that point, they have to pay for a fill. So, there are certain policies that you can put in place to prevent difficult clients or just give you a professional way 
to deal with um, difficult clients because let's say you didn't have that policy regarding like shedding and just contacting you within two days and then you did somebody's lashes and then they're like oh my god all my lashes fell out and da, 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 da. like if you just tell them up front hey just contact me within two days if you have any issues with your lashes and then that kind of prevents them coming at you all like argumentative and like rah 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 and cursing you out or whatever because you already had that rule in place you told them ahead of time that that's how you deal with those types of situations same thing that goes with like the late policy and the same thing that goes with like no call no shows some people have policies for like no call no shows and they'll basically you owe them the whole amount of the appointment if you no call no show the same day um and you can set up things like that too like if you want to develop a no call no show policy where somebody doesn't show up and they cancel the date of their appointment and you wanted to charge them for the full amount of the set or 50% of the amount of the set, you can set that thing up on like acuityscheduling.com and you save their card and you can charge them and set up policies and have them like agree to things. So you can set up things like that. So the biggest thing is just staying professional and like setting up policies so that you can kind of avoid certain situations. So if you notice that you have a lot of people coming late, like set up a policy and let people know about it. So then, you know, that'll prevent it from happening as often. But the biggest thing is just keeping calm, keeping your cool, and just don't mess up your reputation in the industry by, you know, just get letting yourself get out of hand with people because it's just not worth it in the end it's not worth it and if a client is not happy you know with how you handle something or your work or whatever the situation is you also like this business is so different from what i'm used to as far as like going from corporate to this but you have to realize like you're a person with feelings as well and that you don't have to service every single client that comes your way they say not all money is good money so if you have somebody that is being very rude and disrespectful to you or just they're not following aftercare or they're constantly they can be disrespecting your business by constantly coming in late and setting behind your other appointments which affects the quality of your business um, you don't have to service every single client so if you putting policies into place or having professional conversations with them and you just don't see any progress with this person and they're still bringing a lot of negativity and not a lot of negativity into your business into your space you can respectfully break up with that client so i just wanted to put that out there as well because sometimes i feel like in this industry we're probably like really focused on like okay let me just take as many clients as you can you know because you have goals that you want to hit as far as be like on the financial side but i just don't want and even for myself like i don't want to ever feel like i have to tolerate anybody's disrespect towards my business or myself or my policies on a continuous basis just to make money off of a lash set when i can replace that person's business with two or three other girls that are going to follow my rules be pleasant and be lovely especially if I'm not one to set all these extra rules so and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I wouldn't want any of you especially any newcomers to have to deal with this there's not there's not like how can I say this not everybody's nice out there I just wouldn't want other people like coming in the industry to feel like they have to deal with certain clientele that don't treat them right you know you don't have to take every single client so i hope these tips helped you learn how to deal with a difficult client if you had any difficult client stories definitely share them down below and i'll see you next time bye